Hello chap, it's Barry here and in this video I'm going to be looking at a Kickstarter project. That project is by Photon Games and the game is called Sultan's Library. In the game players are taken on roles and they've been given the responsibility by the Sultan to go and find knowledge. Knowledge in the form of books. Yes, you're scouring around looking for books and when one player has found three books and installed them into the Sultan's library, the climactic scoring will start and then you will find out who has the right to sit as an advisor on the side of the Sultan. I'm going to leave a little icon up, Kickstarter icon, to say that you can click on it and you can go directly to the project. This project will be starting on the 2nd of June 2015 and finishing on the 2nd of July 2015. So if you're interested in financing it and making this game a reality, do so. Until then, I'm going to show you my prototype copy of the game and how it plays. Take a look at this. So let's start by saying that what you're seeing here is all prototype so this may vary from the final ver the final version um, some of the card art is not finished um, and as you can see these tokens here I should have cut them out and used them but instead I'm using these um, wooden cards because I thought it was more thematic to the game. There's four characters in the game and the Sultan who's a very short man will choose the shortest player to go first and that player will then choose one of these characters and each of these characters has a special power so like the historian here um, you can deposit two books for one action when you're in the library which is um, not bad as well as you can see you got all the actions listed on the card as well the character card so you know what actions you can do on your turn and then you have the colors of the card so you know what card is what um, that especially helps when you're sorting out the cards at the beginning of the game. And then you also have a holding location and a deposit location. Because you're looking for books, once you find a book in a location, you hold it and then you return to the Sultan's Library over here and then you can deposit it. Because that's what the game's about, collecting books and collecting knowledges. Uh, so once the first, all the players have chosen a personality, a character, they take their card and the token which comes with it and then you sort the cards out into two piles you have your library which you put in the middle of the board in the table the board whatever and then you sort out your two decks you have your location deck which is made out of location cards book cards and event cards and they are all slightly different colors so like this location is blue as it says here uh, this is an event card because it says purple is event card and there's a book card because it's the red and the other deck, which is the action deck, is made out of the other two colours, which is the green and the gold. You take these two decks, you shuffle them, and place them face down. Let's show you the gameplay. So each player, after they've picked their character, will put all their pieces in the middle of the table on the library spot. Um, you'll put the location deck next to the library, and your event deck uh, a bit further away. Each player will then receive two cards from the event deck each and then gameplay will start now the sultan being a very short man will choose the shortest player to be the first player they then take the first player marker and then they start playing the game on a player's turn they will take two cards from the action deck to add to their hand and then they can perform two actions one of those actions is called scrounge, which basically means that you use your two action points to draw an action card from the action deck. The second action you can do is you can use the special power of your character. So the historian here, uh, if you're in the Sultan's library, you can deposit two books in one action instead of just one book per action as normal. With the merchant, you can, for an action, gain six exploration points, which you just use on the next turn. The poet has a special power of if you start in a location with another player, you gain one extra action per player, which is great if you're the first player in the, in the game and you're the poet. The thief, if you pay two actions, you can steal a book from a player that is in the same location as you if they are holding it. Another action you can do is you can play an action card from your hand. 
Now this is a selection of the, some of the ones that you'll find in the deck, like this Sponsored Expedition which lets you draw two more action cards. You have this Motivation card which will let you discard up to three cards and you can gain an action for each of the cards that you discard. You have False Rumours which can be a bit nasty to other players. You can choose a player and then that player must discard two cards and lose one of their action turns. You have the Courier, which lets you deposit a book that you are holding because you need to normally deposit a book when you're in the library, but with this you can deposit it in any location that you're at. You have Book Burning, which is a very nasty card. You choose a player and then that player has to discard one of the books of your choice. Ooh, nasty. But you can play a reaction card to one of those cards and this is an extra guard which will block any nasty events which are taking place on you. Explore the area is an action that you'll probably be doing a lot. Basically this action allows you to take cards from the location deck and hopefully find the books that you're looking for which will win you the game. You will have to pay X amount of points depending on the location that you're at. So for instance at the beginning of the game everyone's in the library it will cost three explore points to get out of the, the library. So you can do that by just discarding one card so this Royal Navy is six exploration points so I'll waste another three or you can play more than one card so I could play the fortune teller which is two and the bag of gold which is one so that's my three discard those and then I draw a location card if it is a location it goes in front of you and you go directly there some of these locations have activation powers so when you go onto it it'll activate a power so for instance this excavation site is as an action I can draw an action card which is cool if I wish to explore again I would have to now pay two exploration points to draw another card so I discard a three there and I draw this card here and it's another location which means that this one I go directly there and this card gets discarded Here's some more cards from the location deck you might want to look at. There's the farmstead, okay? If you start in this location, you can only draw one card this turn at the beginning of your go. And you've got this mountainside temple. When you travel to the mountainside temple, you must discard all cards. Or you've got this sacred uh, meditation circle, which is uh, you must discard a card to do an action in this location. So some of these locations are quite nasty and some of them are quite nice. So when you travel to or from this location, you can draw a card. Then you have some events which happen. So if you go to the Oasis here, or you draw the Oasis card, uh, you draw a card and reveal that top card of the location deck, basically. So you get an action card and you reveal the top card of the, the location deck. If you've got the old Wise Hermit here, you discard a card to gain an action. Reveal the next card of the location deck. And then you've got this sandstorm here, which just means you stay here for this and this location this turn. But the thing that you're looking for are the books, which have knowledge points. These are the things that you're trying to win the game with. When you get three books, you bring the game to a standstill when you count up all the knowledge points which are marked on these books. Sorry about the glare. So if you are exploring the area and you happen to find a book, you put that book at the location where you are at. Which leads us on to the next action that you can do. You can pick up a book. It's a simple case of spending one action and putting it into your hand or your hold. And because you're human and you have two hands, you can only carry a maximum of two books in your hold. Now you need to get these books deposited into the Sultan's Library to try and win the game. To do this, you will need to travel to the Sultan's Library. To do this, it's simply a case of spending exploration points to get back to the library. So, traveling is a slightly different to exploring because traveling, you basically go into a location which is already open, which means that, let's say the blue player there, they have found a book and it's your turn. You've got one book in your hand. So you can travel to the location of the blue player, okay, and that will cost you five. And when you're traveling to a face-up location, I cost one more, so I'd have to pay six exploration points to travel there. Second action, I could pick up this book. And 
on this location here, I can discard a card to have an extra lo action on this card. So I could technically travel to the library by discarding any other card. And it would cost me four, but the Sultan's Library has a special power of minus two when you travel to it, so I'd pay two e exploration points to get back to the library. And now I can deposit books. Deposit in a book is simply a case of using one action to move a book from your hand into your deposit. And when you've got three books in your deposit, that brings the game to a standstill, it goes back to the first player, and then you count up the points. Scoring is a simple case of counting the books that you've deposited. So the white player here scores three points, the red player scores nine, the blue scorer five and the green scores four but that's not all the sultan being the sultan of course can choose the rules and he loves an underdog what he'll do is he'll reward every player apart from the player who first deposited three books so red scores no extra bonus points but everyone else does he does this in the fact that if you have a book in your hand you will score two points for it so blue and green would score two points and if you finish the game in the library, as white and blue have, they will get an additional two points, which means that the white player has five points, the red player has nine points, the blue player has nine points, and the green player has six points. In the case of a tie like this, you count the cards in your hand, and you count the exploration points left over, and the player with the most exploration points is crowned the winner by the Sultan. And that's how you play Sultan's Library. If you wish to back this Kickstarter, because this game sounds interesting to you, click on the Kickstarter icon on the screen and you will go straight to their page. This Kickstarter is only running from the 2nd of June to the 2nd of July 2015, so be quick about it. If you want to find out more about this game, you can go to Photon Games website, the link is on the screen, and you can find out how more about this game and there's also a raffle there where you can get a chance to win a copy of the game for free and also maybe even get your image put into the game isn't that cool so that's all for me my name's barry and uh remember be nice to your dice because you only throw them thrice or something like that So low